It's harvest time. Thank you for returning your nesting block. I'm going to show you how we extract the cocoons from the block. These nesting blocks have been cleaned and this is everything that came out of them. It's a lot more than just cocoons as you can see. It still looks pretty dirty. So we're going to give these bees a bath. This is a mild bleach solution. There's only about a cup of bleach in this entire tub here. Just pour in a bunch of these cocoons and then give it a stir. This is going to get that really mild bleach solution all over the cocoons and get off the mites or um, fungal spores that might be on the cocoons. This is really important for keeping healthy bee populations so that you're not releasing uh, pests or diseases back into the environment next spring. Okay, we've been uh, soaking mason bees in a bleach solution for about the last 15 minutes. And uh, that'll kill, the bleach kills any uh, stock food, which is a fungus that gets on the bees and loosens up uh, the mice and the feces that are on the outside of the cocoon. And now I'm putting them on this conveyor belt, which uh, as they go underneath the head, it rotates them, spreads them out, and washes them off. So when they come out uh, the other end of the conveyor, we have nice clean bees that we can dry. dry the bee cocoons. These cocoons were washed yesterday. We dry them for at least 12 hours, maybe 24 hours. And then once they're completely dry, we can take them out and sort them. So we use this light table to sort out the healthy cocoons from the unhealthy cocoons. We know they're unhealthy because the light shines through them. So any cocoon with light shining through there's either maybe a larva that didn't develop into a bee properly because it, it was diseased or a pest or a parasite came and attacked it. So we pick out every single cocoon that looks like this. You see there's a lot of cocoons and, and this is just one tray, right? So we have um, millions of bees and, and we do this for all of our bees so that we're only releasing healthy bees into the population next spring. So after the bees have been clean, dried, and sorted. Now we only have clean, healthy mason bee cocoons. So we sort them in a Tupperware container just like this in a temperature controlled, humidity controlled walk-in cooler so that they're safe from predators and they can hibernate safely all winter. So some of the bees here will go to your backyard through our rental program or end up on farms to pollinate fruit crops. 